Assalamu alaikum, welcome to science class. We will be using unit two. Uh, we're done with unit one, all about plants. Now we are gonna be using unit two. So in this lesson, we are gonna talk about animal parents and their offspring. This is an armadillo. Students are watching the video and noticing things about this animal, about the structure, the size, the shape, the color. And now we're, what, we're um, looking at this picture and we're talking about the name of the animal. It's an armadillo and it's um, the three-banded armadillo. So it has three sections. This is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. This is what makes it able to roll up and down into a ball. So it has a unique shell to help it survive. So the kids are looking at the picture and noticing the differences between these two. This is the parent armadillo and this is the offspring. So what are they similar in and what are they different, uh, different at? So the parent armadillo is bigger. It has a darker shell and the younger armadillo is smaller and has a lighter shell, but they both have the same structure. So this is the similarity between them. They both have the same structure. The only difference is the size of them. This is bigger and this is smaller and the color of their shell. And then we talked about the structure of the armadillo. So the armadillo has a shell, a unique shell to help it uh, survive. Again, the differences between these two armadillos. And how do they use the, their shell to uh, survive? Their shell protects them from uh, if something falls on them or uh, another animal attacks them so they can just roll into a ball uh, under their shell and this is how uh, it protects them and helps them survive. The three-banded armadillo is the only kind of the armadillo that can roll into a ball because of these three bands that it has. And the origin of the three-banded armadillo is South America and their unique structure helps the human, uh, helped inspire the human to make armors and uh, luggage and packaging. Then we talked about the zoologists. So um, zoologists are the scientists who work in uh, a zoo. They work with animals, they study what do animals need, uh, how do they behave, what do they eat, and how the humans affect these animals. And then this is the book that we're gonna be using in this unit, grade one, unit two, with uh, sea animals and uh, the nest with little birds here. So this is our book. And then we did this page. You can take a screenshot of it, page number four. So the question says, what does a zoologist need to know about animals? They need to know, this is a short answer. So they need to know what they need to eat and take care of them. And homework is page number five. That's the end of the lesson. Thank you for attending.